All right, welcome to the explanation slash tutorial part of this video. I normally don't do tutorials, but uh, simming as uh, another channel would probably do a tutorial on this anyways, I might as well do it myself. All right, so here is the contraption. Um, it is a uh, concrete converter, as you saw in the cinematic and whatever. The wiring is pretty simple, I'd like to say, except for this part right here. It's an instant zero tick system, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, and before Shulkercraft does make a tutorial on this, I might as well, right? So, yeah. The wiring is pretty easy, as you can tell. Um, and, uh, yeah. I urge you to watch the tutorial if you want to know about the uh, logistics of it, this system, because I will explain it as I go on. Alright, uh, let me grab the materialist, and I'll show you what you need to build this thing. Here is materialist. You can pause the video if you need. I'm just going to scroll down. You only need one water bucket, by the way. And one of these detector rails you don't need. You just need a coral instead. And you don't need the two light blue concrete. Pretty much everything else is needed. Um... Yeah, and then the light blue concrete up here does not uh, is not needed. That's just a block that we're using inside here, uh, and most of it won't even be used. So yeah. Anyways, basically, uh, let's get on, get on with the tutorial. I'm going to grab all these materials in my inventory, and let's go. All right, now for the tutorial. Just grab your obsidian block and just place it right down. That's where we're going to be starting. Then move out uh, seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we're at seven blocks out, and then we're just going to go one out one more. And then move up one block as well. We're just going to place uh, a piston right here, and then two more on this side as well. And then we're going to place a temporary block right there. We're going to then break it, and then we're just going to place observers all the way across. Iron block, uh, yeah. Solid blocks have to be solid, any transparent block right here, uh, and more blocks right here, and then observers facing downwards. These observers do need to face downwards. Uh, if you have flipping cactus, then you can use that, or you can just uh, do something like this, which also works. There you go, cool. And then, yeah, leave, actually leave these blocks here. Then you need to place pistons on top, like so. Then when you place uh, pistons on top, everything, okay, if I can get on top of these iron blocks, uh, place pistons on top, then we're good. Cool. Alright, well, we interrupt this, uh, daily scheduling because I'm an ape. Uh, right here I have the entire thing built up, uh, but I forgot these two pistons right here. You need a piston facing upwards or to the side, and then one facing downwards. This is incredibly important. Alright. And then we can place pistons right here, and we basically just go up four blocks, so we just do this. Actually, only three right now, and then right here, we place down a few right here. Cool. Nice, and then we just like break these iron blocks right here. That's extremely important. All right, so now we have something that looks like this, which isn't the most pretty system, but it is something. All right, and then we basically just place an iron block right here, and then when you go up here, then we go up 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, then we go down two blocks like so, grab ourselves a normal piston right here, then place one facing downwards. Then do your make yourself a little bit of a platform right here. It will help you out later on. And then you go four blocks out right here. So now we have a five block long platform. Then you have, um, yeah. Then we basically just want to jump up here, place an, obs uh, an iron block right here. And you, there is also going to be an observer right here. So you might actually also want to place those right now instead of those iron blocks first. Yeah, basically just place these observers right here. And place these iron blocks and then these pistons. Then we need to do that on the other side, like so. Alright, if we just move out three blocks, like so. Uh, I'm terrible at playing survival, that's why I'm messing up so much. But then we can basically just do something like this. It's only one block apart, not that big of a deal. Iron blocks right here. Uh, they, these don't need to be ironed, they just need to be transparent of some sort, so yeah. Anyways, this should be good. And then we have something that looks like this. We'll get onto that a little bit later on. We're just going to go up with these two blocks right here. Uh, and right here, we're just going to go two out and then grab yourselves a cauldron. Uh, this is mainly for lag efficiency. It doesn't really matter what well, it's improved system. We basically just then place down here at a comparator. Uh, is it a comparator? Uh, right here, block right here. 
and another block right here with redstone dust on top. And then you grab yourself a normal piston or a sticky, it doesn't really matter, but normal pistons are cheaper. Go right here, then place an iron block. One of these sticky, uh, one of these normal pistons you will be getting back. However, uh, you just need to see which one runs fast. Or one that runs. Then a sticky piston right here. It's important that it is sticky, kind of. And then we just kind of go out here uh, all the way until we line up with this column right here. Cool. So then, now we line up with this column. We then just need to play, uh, jump up here. And make sure you also have blocks right here as well. That's also important. Then we place a block stream right here. Then we place three observers right here. And then blocks on uh, blocks on these two. But not on this one. This one we just place a... Uh, actually, no. Blocks all three. Uh, we then place rails going all the way across like so. On top of these observers that you placed earlier. Like so. There we go. Then add a door right here as well. Add a door right here, and then two observers and a iron block. If I'm going somewhat fast, I'm sorry, I just tend to go fast. Alright, so now, uh, whenever you activate the system, then there is a... Uh, these Basically, these pistons will pulse down twice, which is very important. Alright. Uh, now that that is good, most of these temp blocks right here... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, most of these temp blocks right here, you don't actually need to remove. You can just keep them there. Unless they're valuable, then you should keep picking them up. Alright. So now, whenever we power this, then this goes across. And then, right here, you can actually place your dropper. And this is where your concrete's gonna be fed in. Since uh, this piston's gonna be firing every single four game ticks, then you will need to put an item in right here. Note, if you're doing the 24,000 items per hour version, or clicking every single three game ticks like this, then uh, it's very necessary if you're, yeah, if you're doing something like this, then you're going to need to make sure that uh, you can get enough items back. Since this, uh, jumpers can only fire every single four game ticks, you need something firing every single three game ticks. That's insanely important. Anyways, uh, right here we can just place some normal pistons like so, just five across, like, yeah, like this. So we just have five, and yeah, two blocks right there, that's important. And then we're going to be doing a little bit more complex redstone, it's not too bad, you'll be fine. Uh, we just grab some nor a, a normal piston right here. And redstone block right here with redstone dust dot right here. If you want a better system, then just place a comparator powering redstone dust with a power level of 7. That's pretty much it. <coughs> yeah, basically just put a power level of 7 redstone dust here. Uh, you just need to, yeah, that's it. Add a slime block right here with a redstone block. This needs to be a slime block. If you're using a honey, then the redstone, redstone dust right here will be powered. It needs to be a solid. So you have to use slime. Basically just do something like this. We go across 4. And then we go up two, like so. Two blocks right here. All right, cool, wonderful. So when I activate this, and this doesn't activate, which is a shame, but it will soon. All right, now we're gonna be doing an instant zero tick generator, which is very important in a certain case. All right, we need to have an iron block, or, yeah, piston with iron block, and then right here, a piston and iron block. This could be a redstone block if you uh, prefer uh, just this, because it's smaller, simpler, and whatever. But it's less laggy. Or it's more laggy. It's less... Eh, it's more laggy that way. And if you do it the uh, better, better way, the lag-friendlier way, you just put a comparator here with a dropper and six uh, six items in there. So six stacks of items. Or uh, or six, like, unstackable items, like shovels. Then we place a uh, redstone dust right here. Redstone dust right here, like so. And we just kind of go across. You need to place a block up like so. This is important. And then we just kind of power straight across. And then we just place redstone dust. But before we power this piston, it's insanely important to add two updater pistons like so. These two updater pistons are incredibly important because if they don't, then this piston doesn't zero tick. So as you can see, these pistons fire. And uh, in whatever case, this piston right here does not fire, you place a piston right here, and it will. So yeah, that's good. Anyways, you have a working system now, and whenever you fire this across now, let's see this, it'll be pushed across. Wonderful. Alright, now we just place some blocks on top like so, which kind of simplifies the entire system. And then you place one bucket of water right there, and now you have your concrete powder converted into concrete. Wonderful. Alright, and that concludes pretty much the more complex circuitry in some way. But now we have to go back down to this temp platform right here, which is uh, very important. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> the same platform that uh, we have this, this thing on, we need to go right here. And we need to break some of these blocks, like so. Kind of go down one a little bit, you need to go down a bit, and then place an observer facing downwards right here. 
This observer facing downwards is extremely important as well, because this basically starts a very important railway system. Which I'll explain why that works later on. <clears throat> Anyways, we're going to place an iron block right here and then go out 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it should be two blocks away from here. Then we're just going to place power rails all the way on top. <clears throat> Alright, and then we just need to place observers right here on top as well. That's also important. And every single block. There you go. Then we need to place droppers right here. Elmenko has a great video on this, uh, on why these work, I think, a while ago. Um, it's very old, but I can I can explain it in this video. I think Mango is the first who came up with this, though. Uh, so, all credits to him. Alright. Place... Oh, wait, no, I made that wrong. You need a dropper facing down right here. So, basically, it's a dropper worm. You just have droppers coming in right here, and then it goes straight up, and then it yates all the way back. I'll explain how that works in the explanation section of this video. <clears throat> Anyways. You then need an observer facing downwards. We'll get to that later on. And then an iron block right here. You can place some, however many temp blocks you need. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Place a comparator right here and a comparator right here. Then place an, a sticky piston with an observer right here. Place two blocks on top like so. Bridge out a little bit. Place a piston right here uh, and a normal piston right there. This needs to be sticky. And for everyone who wants to say it, yes, this needs to be slime. It cannot be honey. Uh, and we are now going to do a standard TNT generator. Just something like this. Where we're basically just going to make an L shape and a C shape. Now, if you're in 1.13+, plus, you're going to place a coral fan right here. But if you're not, then just place uh, detector rails. Uh, as long as you're in 1.11 up as well. 1.11 to 1.12, use detector rails. If you're in 1.13 up, use coral fans. Dead coral fans, specifically. All right, and you're going to need to place a. Uh, we're going to need to place a fence gate right here as well. That's important. Then place TNT on top, and now on top of this detector rail, add a minecart. All right, now we're going to do a little bit more redstone right here. We're going to have to go right up back here, add a powered rail, go down here with a block right here, and then go three down with observers, so you have four in total. Place a rail right here. Then right here, add a, a, an, a an iron block in front of that observer. Then two four tick repeaters, and then a normal piston right here, and then an obsidian where this uh, right in front of this normal piston like so, and it should line up with that obsidian block right there, as you can see. Cool. Then you're just going to place this up until you get level with the TNT. And if you use terracotta, or on this side you need to use any kind of glazed terracotta, but it does need to be terracotta. Cannot be honey, it cannot be anything else. It just can't be sticky. Well, I guess it can be unmovable, but uh, yeah. Just can't be sticky, basically. Uh, and honey won't work because it'll slow down the TNT. Alright, then we just power this piston, and uh, yeah. We're gonna put this on our test run, like so. It'll push it across, and it'll fall on right there. Wonderful. Cool. So this TNT generator is now 100% working, and uh, yeah, that's your entire TNT system done. Almost. Um, now we have to deal with firing these pistons, and that's only important in 1.12, uh, and, yeah, yeah. I, ex I can explain that, uh, later, but, uh, yeah. Alright, let <clears throat> All right, let's start off by, uh, adding two iron blocks right here, then going out a little bit and placing two, actually, yeah, placing blocks right here, add a repeater and two rails, then add a... An observer right here and right here, and then a normal, and then a sticky piston upwards with a two tick repeater right here. Then a block right here, and then you're just gonna go out a ton. So you're just gonna go out a few blocks like so, and it should get to that point where this is. It's similar to the, where that observer is right here. So it should be around two blocks right before it. So right here, cool. It's so gonna place one block right here. Actually, you need to place an observer. Block right, a uh, temp block right here. Sticky piston. Break that temp block and then place an observer right here. Then an iron block right here, and then the rest of these blocks right here are just need to have four tick repeaters on them. And ladies and gents, you're done. Almost. Cool. You're done with your system. Voila. Voila. Almost. I forgot one more thing. You need to place an item in this dropper right here, and you're done. Now you are actually done. You are done with your system. Alright, so let's just do a test run really quickly. Let me place concrete powder in here. 
I've got some concrete powder. Let's just do pink because pink is a great color. Let's put some items inside this dropper right here. And let's go. Go into game mode S, say if you don't believe me. If we could type. So now I'm in survival. Start placing concrete. As you can see, concrete is funneling across like there's no problem. And it's starting to go down. As you can see, the TNT is getting pushed across wonderfully. And now, let's see. <clears throat> hey, the TNT system works. Wonderful. Alright, so now as you can see, it's running perfectly fine. Oh man. Oh man, there is one thing I did forget though, that's for sure. Oh man. So it is almost running perfectly fine, but I did forget one thing with the system down here. One thing. Um, I'll go put, put in a clip right there. Um, but, yeah. In this case, future me, yeah. Uh, you need to place a piston facing upwards right here, and a piston facing down right here. And then you just need to repower all these pistons if it did break, because I definitely forgot about them. And it's not that big of a deal. It won't break everything. Uh, you can just run the system one more time. Especially if you're just booting it up. Right here. Cool. If you're just booting it up, it doesn't really matter since TNT is about to fall again. And then... Yeah. Cool. 